Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, David Perry, and I know I haven't been here in a while, but you know what? It's time to jump back into the swing of things. I'm basically going to be showing you guys how I convert my lecture notes into the notes that I use for studying for quizzes, exams, or, you know, going over for homework. And these are also the notes that you might see on Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. Um, so, yep, the topic is differential equations. These are my math notes which I do differently for my other classes. Now, before I jump into it, I want to ask you guys to please subscribe and be sure to drop a like as well. And you can also follow me on my various social media, which will be in the description. And the Tumblr, Study Blur, will be ready for you guys very soon, I promise. Now, jumping in, I'm going to get my usual utensils, which include my Zebra Mile Liner, Tombow, brush pen and my Muji gelling pen. You <laughs> can't survive without those, you know. So I'm going to write my header and I'm going to add, you know, my little design and extra foolishness. <laughs> so unnecessary. Um, now, the way that I take my math notes may differ from other people. I like to get a conceptual understanding as well as be able to apply that understanding to math. I want to be able to basically explain how differential equations came from where do these come from what what what's their plan you know <laughs> like what what's the point of it i that's what i want to know i don't want to just follow a formula and you know just plug things in i want to have a full understanding of what i'm doing that way you know i can explain to somebody else hey this is how you apply it and this is why you apply it and this is where it came from so i do like to get a little proof based understanding if if you would now that's basically what I'm doing here. In the beginning, I write my summary, unlike Cornell notes where you write the summary at the end, I believe, on the bottom of the page. I want to write it first. That way, when I'm reviewing, I can just um, read that part and say, oh, this is what I'm getting myself into. And then below, once I finish writing my summary, I write my formulas and I show examples. Now, that little design and thing that I'm doing right there, that dy dx minus 2y is equal to 0, and the arrows, that's basically me showing myself, hey, this is where this is coming from. This didn't just pop out of thin air. And then I write more equations and problems from the math notes that you saw previously, and I just go more in depth. Now, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but in the other scene, I actually had my computer out in front of me because what I'm doing while I'm writing my lecture notes, I'm also reading the book. That way I can write um, more definitions of what I'm doing. For instance, a separable, a separable <laughs> equation is a first order, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so that's basically what I want to understand. Like, what am I doing? What is this called? Why is it called this? <laughs> I know it's extra, but it, it's helpful in the long run, at least, I believe. So when I do my math notes, I try to keep my notes really condensed, which can be a good or a bad thing. It could be a good thing because, one, you're not taking up that much space, and you're leaving um, more room in your notebook to have a full chapter review or a quiz review. You know, you can just add that into your notebook, but it can also be a bad thing because you may be missing out on certain things that may be really small, but really helpful in the long run. So this is basically how I take my math notes. And you know what? Tell me how you take your math notes. And, you know, even send a link to a video that you may have made taking the math notes. I really want to know. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.